Your Excellencies, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and a very warm welcome to the British Business Embassy for this global summit on healthcare and life sciences. It's great to see a packed house again. I know that many of you were present yesterday at the Global Health Policy Summit in the Guildhall, and it's really delightful that so many of you who were there yesterday are able to join us again today. To those who were not there yesterday, a very warm welcome to London in 2012, our Olympic year. Yesterday, the Global Health Policy Summit explored some of the big issues facing healthcare systems across the world that require us to respond more rapidly, to raise our sights, to become more bold. These challenges include ageing, non-communicable diseases and the perennial question of funding. Today, and building on the Prime Minister's speech to the summit yesterday, when he spoke about the excellence of the UK's life sciences sector, we're going to explore in greater detail what the UK has to offer as an investment location and partner to countries and businesses across the world. The challenges we face require innovative, creative approaches that put the study of human clinical disease at the heart of medical discovery. We need to continue to accelerate our learning, and key to this is an infrastructure which links academics, industry, investors, clinicians, and crucially, a diversified and well-characterised patient population. The UK has always been at the forefront of life sciences research. With a renowned life sciences sector and our National Health Service, it is one of the most attractive locations in the world for life sciences enterprises. Again, as the Prime Minister explained yesterday, here in the UK we recognise the changing dynamics of the sector and the global marketplace, and we've set out how we will react in the government's recent life sciences strategy. This strategy aims to create the right environment to nurture partnerships between industry, academia and the NHS to find solutions for the major health care challenges that we face and one that rewards innovation and investment in research and development. The UK is also keen to offer its wider knowledge to countries seeking to develop their health care systems, which is why we'll be establishing Healthcare UK a collaboration between UK Trade and Investment and the Department of Health, which will connect UK, the UK's health sector, both public and private, with the, world, with the wider world. Healthcare UK will launch in late 2012 and support the NHS and industry and academia to respond to the opportunities for international collaboration. Turning to today, we'll start our programme with a panel discussion focused on the theme of strategies to accelerate innovation in human health. Lord Aradazi will summarise the proceedings of yesterday's Global Health Policy Forum and consider the implications of this for priorities for the life sciences community. David Willits will outline ways in which the life sciences strategy is enhancing R&D in the UK and the impact that this will have on global health care in the years to come. Sir David Nicholson will describe how the NHS is being transformed as an engine of innovation to deliver high quality care and at a time of increasing demand. And David Redfern will give an industry perspective setting out how the UK fits into the global life sciences economy and will tell us why a company like GlaxoSmithKline chooses to have its headquarters here. These themes we'll be developing further in the seminar program running throughout the day, where we'll also be looking at the UK's experience of healthcare delivery and informatics in healthcare. Following on from the excellent discussions yesterday, the questions are obvious. How can we accelerate innovation to meet global healthcare challenges? How can we better support the research that is finding cures to major human conditions? How can we meet the global demand for high quality but costly health care for an ageing populations? Today we'll provide further opportunity to reflect on these critical questions. So without further ado from me, I'd like to hand over to the distinguished host from yesterday, Lord Aradazi, who is not only a, an internationally renowned surgeon, he is also a UK business ambassador and known to everybody in this room as a leading healthcare specialist. Ara, over to you.